Sometimes we need to restart the rotor due to some reasons. We can definitely do that manually, but if you want to power the cause device every day automatically to free up some memory, you need to set up the crown job to do it for you. The crown job will execute the command which is pre-configured in the configuration file and do it as scheduled. This is the format of the pre-configured command. It's formed by managing the time and the command. Just this single line is a scheduled job. To edit the scheduled tasks, we just open the command line, log in the device, then type in the command crown tab e All existing scheduled jobs will be displayed here. Each line is a scheduled job. And the first lines are created by the OpenWRT operating system. I don't know what do the jobs do. Just ignore them. This line is added by me. It is the command to run. I'll take it as an example. This line will synchronize time with the online time servers every week to make sure the router's time is accurate. This part, ntpd command, is how we synchronize time with online servers. If your rotor time is wrong, just issue this command. Your rotor will update its time with this server. Now the time is accurate after running the ntpd command. But the time often goes wrong due to some reasons. Here I set the scheduled job to run every week to synchronize time. No need to type in the command manually anymore. You might be wondering how we configure it to run every week? It's configured here, on the first half of this line. The numbers listed here are minute, hour, day, month, and day in week to run the command. Each number indicates a thing. The first number indicates at which minute we run the command. The second number indicates the hour to run the command. The third number is the day in month. The esther just means every. The fourth number is which month. And the last one indicates it's Monday. So the date and the time I set here is 8.05 a.m. each Monday. No matter which month or which day, as long as it's a Monday, this command will run at 8.05 a.m. The date and the time is just defined here like this. Now you should know how to set up a scheduled job, right? If you want it automatically reboot the rotor every day, just add this line in the file. In the terminal window, press the I key to enter the input mode. Now we can input. We just type the date, time, and the command. This will trigger the rotor to reboot at 4.30 a.m. every day. Very easy, right? If you want to save the settings, Please press the ESC key to quit the input mode. Then press the colon mark. Then press X. Then press Enter to confirm. The settings will be saved. Actually, this is how we edit files with the VI editor. VI is the most popular text editor in the Linux world. If you issue the command crown tab e, most operating systems will call the VI editor to edit the file. I'm not going to talk about VI in this video because it's not easy to learn. If you find it hard to follow, you can also log in the OpenWRT web console. You can input that line in the web console as well. No need to learn how to use the VI editor. It will execute the command as scheduled, same as how we configured in the command line. Seems Padawan firmware provides such function on the web page as well, but not every firmware has the web configuration page. If you can't find it, you still need to do that with the command line interface. Except for the daily reboot function, we can also do some other things with crown tab, such as do a job every 10 minutes. You can try that if you have such a need. I'm trying to make it simple for people who don't have such knowledge to understand. Hope you find it helpful. Crown Tab is just a very basic Linux tool. 
Other tools are also very handy, such as VI Text Editor, Bash Script, and Python Script. You will find it interesting after you learn all the tools. If you like the video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thanks for your support. Bye bye. Thank you, next. Uh, huh?